Hi everyone, welcome to a little liquify video. Now I've been compelled to record this video because of all the bullshit that's been floating around recently about the warp tool. Now, the warp tool is okay for simple little things, but to suggest it's any replacement for the liquify tool is just completely ridiculous. Uh, liquify is about 17 gazillion times better. Now, this is not intended to be a tutorial on how to use liquify as such. I just wanted to make this video to encourage you to play with liquify. Look, it's lots of fun and there's not much to it really and all you have to do is mess around as if you were a kid and you'll just you'll pick it up no worries at all. So I'm not going to suggest that you choose a photo of a celebrity you don't like very much to play with because uh, mm, that didn't go well last time. Uh, so I guess the next best thing is to pick a photo of yourself to play with. So that's what I've done. I've found about the most flattering photo of myself that I could, blowing out a birthday candle. And I'm going to have a bit of a play. Now, the first thing with Liquify is to always do it on a duplicate layer. Not only so that you can delete that layer if you mess up, but also because of masking, which I'll talk about momentarily. So I'm just going to duplicate that layer. Now I'm in Elements 9 here. Um, like to start simple. I'll talk about uh, Photoshop in a moment, but um, I'll start by playing with the simple functions of Elements first. So I'm going to go to Distort, Liquify, and open me up here, aren't I handsome? Now, what I want to do is just go to town here, um, just have a lot of fun at my own expense, make me look even more goofy than I already do, um, and show you some of the tools along the way. Now, um, the first one is the one that you'll use most commonly, the warp tool. That's just the one that pushes stuff around a bit. So I might start, I guess, by puffing out my cheeks a little bit more. I want to say at this point that instinctively, uh, I guess most people would puff out cheeks with the bloat tool, this one here. Um, and you can click on that and then that blows stuff up. But you can see what it does is it sort of moves uh, some detail out in all directions and, and shifts my mouth off to one side of the stuff. That's not what I want. Um, so actually the warp tool is better here. I'm going to get this and I'm just going to sort of stretch my cheeks out, make them a bit fatter. Now, choosing the brush size is probably the most difficult thing to learn with liquify it you kind of you have to practice for a while you'll get it wrong a few times i think the mistake most people make is to use a brush that's a bit too small um, it really is better to go big and gentle with this i found now while i'm talking about gentle i should mention that your brush pressure by default will be at 50% and i generally leave it there i um, don't like it higher than that because every adjustment sort of gets too strong then um, so 50% is a sort of mild adjustment, like I say, big and gentle. So I'm going to keep going here and puff out the other side, make a bigger brush. Whoops, didn't want to move the eye there just yet. Out here, that's what I'm talking about. Now, the most, so the best tool tip I can give you with Liquify is for changing the brush size. As you probably know, brush size is adjusted with the square bracket keys on your keyboard. Left square bracket key takes my brush gradually down, right square bracket key takes it gradually up. Now that's all very well, but it's slow. But if you hold down the shift key and use the square bracket keys, it goes up in increments of 10 and is much faster. So shift and square bracket keys will be your friend here. Now I'm just going to, oh, that ain't right, mess with this a bit, move back in here, and oh, what else do I do, play with my chin, just bring that in there, little rounded fat chin, um, go out, so this is all still with the warp tool here, just moving stuff around, bring my eyes in a bit, 
Now, now I might go for the bloat tool and make my nose a bit more bulbous. So I've got the bloat tool here. Now, I wouldn't make it the same size as my nose, that won't work. I'll make it a bit bigger. And just dab there. That's what I'm talking about. My eyes a bit bigger in the same way. Okay, so now I'm looking completely ridiculous. Now, at first glance, the Elements Liquify interface doesn't have a preview or before and after button. So you have to use a workaround for some strange reason, and that is to revert. Press revert, take it back to how it was, and then toggle Control Z, Control Z, depending where you are in the world, uh, Control Z here, before and after. And that's going from how it started to where I just got to. And then I can keep going. So I might just puff up my hair a bit here. I'll go back to the warp tool for this. Big brush here. Just puff out. Now you can see immediately what I'm doing is warping the lines in the background. And that's not cool. And I'll have to fix that later on with masking uh, back uh, in the regular Photoshop interface. Um, okay, let's just have another look at that. That's how I was. That's how I am now. Okay, that's good. I might just uh, straighten up that little bit of my mouth there. Oops. Something like that. Oops. Bring that in a bit there. Whatever. Just playing around. So you can just have a bunch of fun. Maybe I would want to make the flame a bit bigger here and maybe blowing in this direction a bit. Ah, whatever. You can do anything you like. Okay, so that's cool, right? I've played with my liquify, it's all good, but of course I've got these wobbly lines back here. So, I go OK at this point, and I've got the two layers, remember? The original behind and the uh, liquefied one. So now I'm going to add a mask to that layer, and I'm going to just paint back and restore everything the way it was back there. And I'll just do this a bit hastily. Of course you'd do it uh, more carefully if you were doing this for real. Um, I'm out here, what have I got? <sighs> I can get away with those mountains, it's no big deal. Just got to finish off this bit over here. Like so. A bit over there as well, and turn that on and off. All right, masking done. No one's going to suspect a thing. Okay, good clean fun. Let's have a quick look at it in Photoshop proper. I've got the same photo, duplicate the layer, open Liquify. And now I won't go through the whole thing again, but I just wanted to show you now the tools are in uh, slightly different order here um, but they're the same tools more or less uh, I'm going to puff out my cheeks here um, that's all good whatever still with the shift and square bracket to change the brush size um, bloat for my eyes uh, hair blah 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 now one thing I forgot to mention when I was in um, well a couple of things actually when I was in elements just before one is the obvious you can control Z Control Z uh, to undo your last brush stroke as normal in Photoshop. The other thing is the reconstruct tool. In Photoshop, it's the second tool down. Here it is. In Elements, it was kind of the third last tool, or something it was down lower. But so basically, with this tool, you paint over an area and it restores to how it used to be in that area. Okay, so that is a really important one to know because you only get one control Z to undo one last click but with the reconstruct tool you can paint back whole areas to how they were before uh, okay so just uh, puffing up the cheeks here now the other thing in Photoshop I want to show you obviously there's a lot more stuff over here which I won't talk about now uh, but I just did want to show you the show backdrop uh, button down here that's the preview button effectively uh, when you turn that on it shows how it was before turn it off shows how it is now and there's masking and stuff 
uh, you can play with that in your own time. I don't have time on this brief video, um, but I just wanted to show you the basics, and I just wanted to say, look, play. It's great fun, honestly. There's su such wacky stuff here that you can do, and 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 wriggles and jiggles, and just revert to your childhood. Get it, get your giggle on, and just play a bit. It's great fun, honestly. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this, and please, please don't listen to anyone who says the warp tool is the way to go because it's nonsense. Bye.